the price of the 2015 Michael Air Jordan 1 Chicago has risen a lot in this past week. Why did it happen? Is there anything we can learn from it? I'm gonna share my thoughts on that. And I've got a great idea for making more money selling shoes. The big news this last week, this pair of shoes, the price of it went up dramatically. That's because the shoe had a significant role. On The Last Dance, ESPN's excellent look back at the Chicago Bulls. Now this shoe is already fairly expensive. It's a classic colorway and it hasn't been released since 2015. So those brand new unworn pairs, they are surely drying up. But this documentary, it created such a spike in that value. There's just nothing like seeing MJ dominating in his own shoes. He makes them look just so cool. So of course people want a piece of that. Anyone who was waiting to sell this shoe, this is a nice little boost. If you don't have this shoe, there are still plenty of ways to make money selling shoes. The Michael Air Jordan 1, that model in general, it's a great choice. The classic and the hyped up colorways, those typically really rise in price, especially over time. But even the less desired colorways, maybe the colorways that went under retail at some point, the price of those, it almost always goes up too. So that model is a great choice, but it's not the only choice. Any hyped up, super limited shoe, that is most likely gonna go up over time. Take a look at those off-whites from a couple years ago. You could buy a shoe like that for resale, and if you hold it long enough, you are still gonna make a really nice amount of money. Yeezys really had their moment in the secondary market. The prices aren't what they used to be, but in general, the black colorways, those seem to do well. The Utility Black 500, that one was sitting online for a while, and that went up pretty quickly. So there are plenty of opportunities to make money on shoes but they do require holding that shoe for a really long time. Is there a way to make money on shoes and make it quickly? I think this Bulls documentary, it really showed the perfect way to do that. One of the best ways to create excitement around a shoe is have Michael Jordan wear it during the prime of his basketball career. So all you have to do is have any shoe you wanna sell on Michael Jordan's feet during those years I'm sure that sounds impossible, but with technology today, it's not impossible at all. Now you can make deep fakes. A deep fake is a highly realistic video. You can't even tell it's a fake. So all you have to do is create a deep fake of Michael Jordan wearing whatever shoe you wanna sell and then get it on the internet and then watch that price rise. So I've actually already created a deep fake. I put a shoe that's not super expensive on Michael Jordan during his prime. I picked a not expensive one, so the price should really rise quickly. And I'm gonna show you that deep fake right now. I couldn't take those shoes off fast enough. And when, you know, when I took the shoes off, my sock was soaked in blood. So if I put that clip all over the internet, the price of that shoe, it would just skyrocket. I hope you found this helpful. I hope you get the most out of selling your shoes. And thanks for watching.